Hello Opal friends! It's like Christmas has come early. We're doing another PO Box unboxing, you can see here, addressed to me. And this is from Yvonne Williams, so if you haven't heard of her, she's actually got a YouTube channel which I watch all the time, she does live streams all the time. And she is probably the best wire wrapper I've seen on YouTube and her tutorials are incredibly She's incredibly good at her tutorials, so good that she makes really complex weavings seem like beginner's wraps, which entices me to try them and I fail pretty hard. So she sent this across all the way from the US. I've got a few things that I've got to send to her as well. And what I'm noticing is straight away it is incredibly heavy. So. I thought she she did send me an email a few months ago and say that she was going to send over some old tools that she didn't use anymore, some of her spares, and I said, sure thing. So let's actually see what we've got. Flip it around, I guess. Picture of Yvonne. She does some cosplay stuff. I haven't actually seen any videos where she's going through any of those kind of kind of things. I just watched the wire wrapping ones. Love your work, keep being awesome, happy crafting. Ah, uh, see, she's one of the ones that saw me use the uh, fencing wire very early on and has taken pity on me. This will teach me a little bit about the American gauge measurement system as well. So that's kind of cool. She uses power wire for a lot of her stuff. She's always harping on about power wire, so I'm going to try it out and hopefully, even though it's a US kind of thing, hopefully I can still order it. I'm not sure, but at least I'll have some, I'll just hit these with the uh, with the measurers and just work out the millimetre diameters and just put together a bit of a conversion chart so I know what to try to use. So one, two, solid bear, not entirely sure what that means, antique copper, it's like tarnished but then tarnished resistant, probably because it's already tarnished. So three, four, solid bare. This stuff should be a lot softer than the stuff that I've been using. Um, another one, vintage bronze. Well, that's a really fine one. So I didn't actually realize that the higher the gauge, the thinner it was. I actually thought that was the other way around. So 26 gauge, tiny, 16 gauge, thick. So I can see that I was doing some bad Google searches already, so that's good. Already highlighted an issue. 26 antique copper, nice. So we've got ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six coils, and this is the most important part. To her, these might just seem like old, crusty tools that she doesn't use, but to me, these will be a godsend. I've said in a lot of my wire weaving videos that I just don't have the right tools for the job. And here we go. So I tried looking for these myself and the jewellery supply shop here in Adelaide has been shut for a while so I haven't been able to look in there but I've looked in all the hardware stores, can't find these to save my life. But we'll, we've got these little nippers. I actually don't know what these are called but they're like round pliers but they're round all the way all the way along so I can start my coils and stuff without trying to use my Leatherman which has more of a this kind of this kind of prong Oh, from China so yeah more standard needle nose pliers some hooked ones and I'm not entirely sure what these ones are best used for, but I know in Yvonne's tutorials she does use them quite a bit, so I'll have to play around with these. These are just like really square, flat, flat ones. They don't have any teeth or anything on the inside, so maybe it stops the scratches. I'll have to find myself some uh, nylon coated, coated or Teflon coated pliers so that I can avoid the scratches on some of the pieces where I'm using nicer wire. Maybe not copper, but when it comes to any gold or silver, that kind of stuff, I need to be real careful with. The Leatherman is a bit hardcore for that. So, yeah, there you go. I've got myself five 
actual fit for purpose pliers and a whole heap of coils of wire that I can use. So I might hit up her channel now and start looking through and selecting my next next wire wrap. I was thinking I wanted to try a ring. She's got some complex rings but I'll try to find a more beginner friendly one. And then I'll do a ring and try to use the opal that I cut the other day which should be here somewhere. Here it is. I'll try to set that little little guy in a wire wrap ring. So prepare to laugh at that when I release that video. But hopefully with these tools being the right tools now, I can't just blame it on my Leatherman not being fit for purpose. I'm actually going to have to start performing well now. Which is a little bit daunting. But yeah, I'll have links to Yvonne in the description and I would have popped up a few things during this video as well for her for her stuff. And yeah, it's amazing that she would do this. I can't remember how many subscribers she's got, but she's like a, a big fish and I'm a piece of plankton in the ocean when it comes to YouTube channels. So the fact that she would do something like this for me is amazing and maybe one day if I ever get to that size, I'd like to do the same kind of thing. Hand down some old opal carving tools and whatnot. So yeah, what goes around comes around. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video where I will be actually carving some of that boulder. I'm looking around for it now. Here it is. I'll carve some of the boulder from the Nick Hoops and Frank video from the other day. So you can't see much, boulder does that. It's like a mystery bag. I might actually just reach in and grab one blind. That could be cool. But there were heaps of good pieces in that, so I don't know which one I'll pick. But I will pick one and we will get to carving. So I'll see you in that video.